hello guys welcome back to my new video on my channel in this video i will be guiding you introduction to java this is a very first episode of java series let's see what is the session agendas in, in this session we are going to learn introduction to java we are going to see features of java characteristics of oops jvm versus jre versus jdk and we'll see what different environment we need to set up to learn java let's dive into the introduction to java actually java is high level programming language father of java is james gosling java was released by sun microsystem in 1996 currently this java copyrights is with oracle java is a free and open source software originally the java was called oak you can explore guys what is the oak stand for and please put in the comment box Java A can be write once and can run anywhere. See features of Java. Java is easy to learn because the syntax of Java is very close to the English sentence. So it's easy to understand what are we writing in Java code. Java is known as a distributed language. This is because it provides built-in features and libraries that facilitate the development of distributed applications for example we can write client server programming using java we can write network programming using java we can develop a api dev, uh, programming we can write a remote message invocations programming even we can implement java message services and etc java is secure language because they offers java bytecode verification so what is the java bytecode verification java bytecode which is executed by the java virtual machine jvm which undergoes a rigorous verification process during the loading and execution phases java also provides and offers memory management automatic memory management using the garbage collections java is robust Java is considered a robust language due to its software development tools and its ecosystem. And Java provides error prevention and exception handling features that makes Java robust. Java is OOPS. What is the OOPS? OOPS is object oriented. Java allows you to define and create classes to represent real world entities, concepts or abstract idea. So using the Java OOPS concepts, we can implement, we can design real-time entity using the Java. Java is interpreted language. Java actually not a strictly an interpreted language, but rather a compiled language that uses a hybrid approach known as the Java virtual machine. Let's understand the process in the more details. Java source code is written in plain text file with the java extensions the java compiler jvc java c we can say compiles the source code into bytecode which is a platform independent representation of the program that bytecode is saved in dot x dot class file that dot class file is interpreted and executed java is multi-threading java offers multi-threading concepts where we can implement multitasking programming. What is the multitasking? Multitasking means we can implement, uh, we can develop an application which can perform, we can, we can perform more than one task concurrently, simultaneously. Like uh, we, can, we can implement a program for the playing the video. Same times we can implement a program to download a, a file from the network simultaneously java also is platform independent platform independent means write a program in one machine can be run on another machine without any modification if jvm is compatible to the another machine java is a portable because as i mentioned is a platform independent means we can write a program in one machine we can transfer into another machine and it can be run without any modification. Let's see characteristics of OOPS. Very first characteristic of OOPS is abstraction. Abstraction in Java is achieved 
through the use of abstract classes and interfaces. Abstraction is a fundamental concept in object-oriented programming that allows you to create a generalized classes and define common behaviors without specifying the implementation details. It enables you to focus on essential features and hide the complexities. Next characteristic of OOPS is encapsulation. Encapsulation in Java is achieved through the use of access modifier which is a private, protected and public. Encapsulation is a key principle of object oriented programming language that aims to bundle data and the method that in operates on that data into single unit called a class. It helps in achieving data hiding, abstraction and modularity. Next is polymorphism. Po polymorphism means more than one form like a method overloading, constructor overloading. These are example of the polymorphism where polymorphism can be runtime and compile time. Example of compile time polymorphism is method overloading, constructor overloading. Example of runtime polymorphism is called the method overriding which is a part of inheritance. What is the inheritance? Inheritance is one of the important concepts of OOPS. Inheritance means where a class can acquire the property of existing class. In, in, in the sense, a child class can acquire the property of parents class. We will see all those things in details in the upcoming videos. Let's understand what is the JVM, GRE and JDK? JVM is Java Virtual Machine, which is an abstract machine that does not exist physically. JVM provides runtime environment to drive the Java code on our application. JVM compiles the Java code into the bytecode and it's a platform independent. GRE. GRE stands for Java Runtime Environment, which is an environment within the which the JVM runs. It contains a set of libraries plus other files that JVM uses at runtime. GR is also called as a RTE. JDK. JDK stands for Java Development Kit. JDK is a software development environment which is used to develop a Java application and a GUI program. It contains a development tools and JRE. Actually, look at these pictures. JVM is a subset of JRE. GR is a subset of JDK. In short, JDK includes GRE and JVM. You can look at this one as well, where the responsibility of the JVM is to verify the code, byte code, which you write and compile. Then it load and execute. Responsibility of the GR is this. It is a combi combination of JVM plus libraries and the JDK is a JVM plus library plus development tools which is a debuggers, compiler and Java documentation. To learn the Java, to execute the Java program, we need to set up the environment, which is a JDK and IDE. JDK is work as a, like a translator, which is a, which help us to execute and understand, debug the code of Java. And IDE is the environment is called the integrated developed environment where actually we will write our code so we have a different kind of id netbeans eclipse and jetbrain but basically in this java video series i will be using the netbeans so guys this is the end of the video in the next video i will be guiding you why main method should be public static wide Actually, we are going to write a very first Java program of this series. So guys, if you are still, you have not subscribed my channel and you like my videos, please, I request you, I kindly request you to please like my video, subscribe my channels and share as well. Thank you. See you in next video of this series. Bye-bye. May God bless you.